With each passing day, we grow closer to the release of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And as expected of every new entry in the series, this film will be bringing us new dinosaurs to the franchise that we've never seen before. From what current up-to-date information we have, a total of six new creatures will be making an appearance in the new film, five of which I've chosen to list, while the remaining will be left as an honorable mention. These dinosaurs are wildly different from the ordinary Rex and Raptors, so this should be a pretty cool countdown. With all of that out of the way, here are the top five new dinosaurs that will be featured in Fallen Kingdom. Number five, Allosaurus. Not quite as big as the T-Rex, but still considerably larger than any Velociraptor, the Allo is definitely going to be a much appreciated addition to Jurassic Park. It's appeared in various toys and comic books over the course of the series' 25-year existence, but this will be the first time that we've ever seen it on the big screen. We don't know too much about its involvement in the film just yet, but we do have confirmation that at least one of these dinos will be getting off the island alive. In the second trailer, an Allosaurus can be seen darting out of some sort of complex where they appear to have been shipped, which means it could cause a lot of trouble for anyone who happens to unfortunately cross its path on the mainland. Standing about 14 feet tall and weighing around 2 tons, this is one carnivorous dino that will no doubt be difficult to capture. One of them can be seen roaring at Claire Deering in the first trailer just before a piece of molten rock falls onto it after being shot out of the volcano. For a new dinosaur that's promised to be in more than just one scene, I gotta say that I'm looking forward to seeing it in its first official appearance. Number 4. Stiggy Moloch from what few rumors we've heard, the Stiggy Moloch will be given its own moniker similar to Owen's last raptor, Blue. The name Stiggy is shown adorning several pieces of merchandise that are being sold with a Stiggy Moloch's likeness for this new movie. If this is some sort of nickname, it could mean that the animal will be featured as another dinosaur companion to our film's protagonists. As far as the creature itself goes, the Stiggy Moloch's classification happens to be a rather tricky one. Paleontologists like Jack Horner insist that the animal is actually just a juvenile version of a dinosaur that's already made appearances in previous Jurassic films, the Pachycephalosaurus. However, this is a very controversial topic that isn't accepted all across the board by every member of the community just yet. The object of conversation seems to be the level of plasticity in the bone structures of these similar dinosaur skulls, meaning that some believe they could very well have developed thicker skulls and dropped the spikes as they age. While this debate is yet to be settled, the Stiggy Moloch will indeed be making its first appearance in this year's Fallen Kingdom. Whether or not we get to see it run alongside Blue or be depicted as a Juvie Packy is as of now unknown. Number 3. Baryonyx This guy is sure to put on a pretty impressive show. Every trailer for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom has featured this dinosaur in some capacity on the island, whether it be stalking its way through a large dark sewer pipe or chasing down Claire Deering and new character Franklin, the Baryonyx is shaping up to be a very formidable predator. Hailing from the United Kingdom's late Cretaceous past, this dinosaur happens to stand about 8 feet high at the hips and weigh around 2 tons. While long thought to be a predominant fish eater, the Baryonyx is a well-known hunter of other dinosaurs as well. The original specimen of this creature happened to have partially digested fish skin as well as young iguanodon remains in its belly. And if you listen closely to its roar in the first trailer for the new movie, you can hear an unmistakable similarity to Jurassic Park 3's Spinosaurus. This is because the Baryonyx belongs in the Spinosauridae family, which features the third film's lead dinosaur as its biggest member. Shown to get airlifted off of the island via helicopter, I can only imagine what kind of crazy stuff this new species will be getting into. Number 2. Carnotaurus while this particular animal has never appeared in any of the Jurassic Park films before, it did actually play a big role in Michael Crichton's second novel. In The Lost World, the Carnotaurus was depicted as a camouflaging predator that stalked its prey in the shadows. A pair of the beasts had taken up territory near the abandoned engine lab that our protagonist took refuge in towards the end of the book. And this scene happens to be a fan favorite for those that have read the original source material. After 23 long years since its initial introduction, the Carno will finally be getting its on-screen introduction with Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. While I highly doubt that we'll get to see the dinosaur camouflage like it did in Crichton's second book, I do think that the animal will cause quite a lot of havoc for Owen and Claire on the island. In the first trailer for the film, we got to see it ram the gyrosphere forward before roaring at the little humans who'd found themselves helplessly in its path. However, after attempting to kill and eat Owen, the franchise's lead Tyrannosaurus Rex managed to step in at the perfect moment and subdue the other carnivore in a glorious wide shot that you've probably seen a million times by now. While the Carnotaurus was taken out rather quickly, it should be noted that the Rex had yet to kill the horned devil under its feet. In the same shot where you see the Queen of Nublar let out her triumphant bellow, you can also see the Carnotaurus struggle to get up and make its getaway underneath her. 
Now, before we get to number one, I want to talk about our honorable mention. Joining its fellow Ceratopsian Triceratops is Cenoceratops, an odd yet beautiful choice of dinosaur that will be getting its debut in Fallen Kingdom this June. It's been shown in both trailers that have come out for the movie in the past few months, but we haven't really seen it do anything but run around and swim after it takes the leap of faith off of Nublar's cliffs. For being one of the six new species that should be getting introduced in the new film, I felt obligated to include it on the list. Let's hope the filmmakers give us something special to remember it by. And number one, the Indoraptor. This is by far the most anticipated new dinosaur that will be getting its introduction in the new movie. Promised to be the realization of Hoskins' dream Indominus at a fraction of the size, the Indoraptor will apparently take many of its attributes from that of the Jurassic Park Velociraptors. Presented with a bright gold streak down its back, as well as the quilled head decoration similar to that of JP3's male raptors, this creature will hopefully give the parents nightmares. It's being held for auction at a location that we don't really have too much info on, but from what I gather, it's definitely going to be breaking loose and causing all sorts of issues for the personnel who've been holding it. This new hybridized beast has a lot of anticipation riding on its success, and I for one can't wait to see it this June. Now that I've gone over what I believe to be the top five new dinosaurs in Fallen Kingdom, I'm curious to know what all of you think the list should look like. If you agree with my list or have one of your own, let me know in the comments down below guys. I know the Barry and Carno might just be moved around for each individual fan. Now before I go, I'd like to thank my game wardens, like Cass Ward, as well as my engine executives. I'd also like to thank my park workers and engine hunters as well. It means the world to me that you guys appreciate what I do so much, and I'm happy to have built this channel with so many awesome people. Now, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching this video, and hope that you all enjoyed today's content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys. And as always, take it easy.